right, so I just want to talk about what I just did. Um, so Misty has a issue with water and obviously currently I'm surrounded by it. And like there's tons of little puddles around here. You can't see them all on the camera. Um, but what I just did is that I brought her down here and uh, this is actually her home pasture. So she's seen these before, so they're a little less scary. Although some horses that doesn't matter. I mean, really and truly, that's just me generalizing to her, but some horses are worse in their home pastures. Um, but anyway, so she's seen most of these before and they're just kind of chilling out here. So what I did is that I first took her at a walk and put her through all of them. Right now, I don't have both reins, so trying is probably going to lead to failing, which is why I'm not doing it. Um, but I walked her and made her walk through them and kind of started putting together almost like a, a jump course, but at the walk and with puddles. Because, I mean, a lot of them are also really skinny and stuff, so she has to be pretty on point with her steering. Um, I then picked up a pretty slow, easy trot because, as you can probably tell, the footing isn't perfect out here. Which, I mean, bless you for cross country. See, so we're gonna go through this one. Good girl. But for cross country, the footing's not always going to be perfect. Let's see if we can. Um, so she has to be able to get used to it. Oh, we just barely missed it. Um, so I worked this almost like a jump course at the walk and trot with all of these little puddles. And I mean, I didn't even plan it. I just kind of went from one to the other. Like I would see one, lock onto it, see one directly behind it, kind of like this. And at a trot, I would aim to go through both of them and then just keep schooling it, which works on, oh, good girl both her steering, especially off of my legs, and works on her bravery in and out of water, even though these are tiny puddles. Uh, hopefully it translates later on. And it worked on her staying forward in front of my leg, doing things that she necessarily doesn't want to do. So, um, and also not jumping all of these, because at first we started the girl jumping them a little bit. But as you can tell, she went from like trying to avoid water today to actually like understanding, locking onto it and going through it fairly willing. I mean, a couple times she's skirted, but, um, you know, right now I don't even have rain contact and she's doing the task. So yeah, I consider this a win. And even though I've only been on for like a little bit, we're both pretty out of shape. So I'm probably going to call it a day after this and not push her anymore. All right, that's it. Bye.